Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake geeking out with you about the Western Digital MyCloud Mirror. So recently I reached out to Western Digital because I wanted to show you guys how to do backup solutions for all of your projects. Whether you're a graphic designer, a photographer, a video editor, whatever, you need to be able to have good secure backups of all of your files or you risk losing them forever. This can be extremely important not only for your personal projects but also for your client work. So I reached out to Western Digital because I wanted to have a really great solution to share with you guys, uh, something that wasn't as outdated as some of the stuff I've been using in the past. And I thought about what my needs are going to be going forward. I'm traveling a lot this year with doing stuff like Dragon Con, Pep Con, and Animazement. I needed a solution that was gonna let me access my files remotely and still have a secure backup of them. So the Western Digital MyCloud accomplishes all of that because of the fact that it has two drives in it. It splits that four terabytes up into two two terabyte drives. And what it does is it does what's called mirror raid. That's raid one. And what that means is that if one of these hard drives fails, there's a duplicate hard drive with all of my data and all of my files still on it. And I can just take one out, replace it, and I'm going to have a secure backup of my files no matter what. So that means that there's a less likely chance that any of my files are gonna be lost, which is great considering all the video footage that I'm doing for the YouTube channel is being moved over to this drive so I can do that, as well as all of my current client projects. So this is gonna be tremendous for me and it's gonna give me peace of mind, let me have a lot less anxiety about all of the work and all of the data that I'm putting out day after day after day, week after week. So that's going to be extraordinarily helpful and that's why I want to recommend and review this product with you. Now disclaimer, Western Digital is not giving me any money or sponsoring the channel in any way. They were just um, you know, really great about giving me this so that we could talk about it and I could show you, you know, what I'm doing with it and tell you my honest opinion what I think. Now the thing that I really liked about this was how easy it was to set up. There aren't any buttons on it. it, is literally plug and play. So I just plugged this into my router, I plugged it into the wall in terms of power, and it was good to go. Because it was plugged into my wireless router, that meant it was already on my network and that I could access it with all of my different devices, including my iPad, once I download the software. So what you'll see I've got going on here is I can access all the videos that I've already backed up for February right here, and I could even play them and stream them seamlessly right now and review them if I want to. So that's very cool, and I can also copy, paste, delete, things like that. I can manage the entire inventory remotely, and I can show people what I have going here whenever I'm out on the go. I have access to all of my video files, and that's great. It means I can also edit and compile things on the fly. So that was really helpful. That was easy to set up. I got this thing up and running in like maybe five to 10 minutes. It was that easy. Um, I went into the app and I, you know, I set up my user permissions. I set up another backup user for myself so that I could access it. Um, you know, just did all my password things, made it secure, set up my folders, and then I just started backing up and transferring my files. So that worked out very well for me. I was able to move things off of my um, current backup drive, which is a Seagate. I was able to transfer files there. Uh, I was able to back up the files on my phone, uh, which is really great now that I have a mobile backup. So I don't have to worry about losing all the data from my Samsung Galaxy phone. So I'm really, you know, glad that I went this route because, you know, with other backup solutions, you just don't have as many options. So I like that the software is easy to use. It's nothing complicated. Um, I have a secure password and code locked here on the iPad so that no one can just get into my cloud. So that's the other thing. You can set up permissions if I wanted to. I could even give a friend like John Covington access to a limited amount of files or even give him backup options and give him like 20 gigabytes or something to upload his files to me so that when I need to access video footage that he shot, and we can work seamlessly together. So this is gonna allow me to work with other designers, other video people, other photographers a lot more easily because I can assign them an allotted amount of space, a password, and permissions to share files. So that's gonna work out really well for me. If you have a family where you wanna share files and back things up and you know do that, then that's gonna be helpful for you as well. So I highly recommend this if you're in a situation where you might need your files remotely. You wanna have more than one backup of them and know that they're secure and you have a lot of devices that you might want to download backups from or stream files to, then this is gonna be a great product for you.
So this is the four terabyte version. Now, if I didn't want to do the backup mirror RAID, which I'm going to recommend that you do, and that's the default, it has a two terabyte capacity. If you don't want the backup mirror RAID, then you could just use all four terabytes as a backup for your files. I don't want to do that because I like the security of knowing that if one hard drive fails, that I have another one with a complete clone copy of all of my files and that I'm still safe. So I would recommend sticking with the two terabyte configuration of this. The four terabyte version of the MyCloud uh, actually cost about 279 retail and I have links for that in the description below that you can get from Amazon. Now, if you don't want the mirror, there is a regular MyCloud that is a lot cheaper that you could get. That's still a great solution and will allow you to uh, get your files remotely. If it wasn't for the type of work that I'm doing, I might have gone that route. But considering how much video I put out here on YouTube, considering the tremendous amount of client projects that I have to take on every single week, um, you know, I get new inquiries and requests every week and I have to make sure that I have a backup of everything that's going on so that my client's files are safe and I have, you know, secure copies of that. This is what I'm going with. And, you know, even if they hadn't um, helped me out with this product, I would have gotten this anyway. And that's just the direction I go. At some point, I'm probably going to end up buying an even more robust solution for them. They offer this at higher terabyte volumes, eight, and I believe uh, maybe as far as 12. And that's probably the direction I will end up going because I think I'm getting to a point to where I might be producing two terabytes of data every year going forward. So I'm gonna need solutions for archiving and backing these things up and also having an active cloud backup to just you know have access to things. So there's more than one solution that I'm gonna be going with. I'm gonna be reviewing them here on the channel. I'm going to go with more Western digital products, but I'm probably going to explore some other things as well and give you advice on those. So make sure you're staying tuned and that you get everything. Um, if you need a solution on the go for your backups, I highly recommend Western Digital because I've used them successfully. I gave my Western Digital passport to my brother Andreas, who's off at college for graphic design right now. So he's using that. I'm having to rely on my other backup solutions for my laptop, which that laptop's going to be retired um, this year. And I'm going to showcase a new one here on the channel. But um, what I'm thinking in terms of a mobile solution is I'm looking at the Western Digital Wireless Passport because it has an SD card slot for my videos and my photos that I can slide right in there and it can wirelessly stream and back up to other devices. So that's what I'm looking at in terms of a mobile solution and I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can get that if you're interested in that type of thing as well. So. I think that this is great if you're a photographer, a graphic designer, a video person, or someone who has a large family and you want to have everyone you know, have the capacity to back up their files and share things, then I think this is a tremendous solution from Western Digital. I think it's affordable and I would highly recommend it. It's doing wonders for me. It's changing my entire workflow and it's just making life so much easier for me right now. So I want to thank Western Digital again for supplying me with this model to review and for being able to share it with you guys. So I want to hear your thoughts. Are you going to get the Western Digital MyCloud? Do you currently have one? And what's been your experience of it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're using other backup solutions, I'm curious as to what you're using. Maybe I'll review it here on the channel. So definitely make sure in the comment section, you're letting me know what you're using as backups, how you're using it. What are you doing? Photography, video editing, graphic design? Let me know. And I definitely want to have a conversation with you. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me today.